are back on the World Poker Tour for the World Poker Finals. Four players remain, and that is Efro, Eric Froelich, a very talented young poker player. And he has two World Series of Poker bracelets to his credit, but this the first time he's ever cashed on the World Poker Tour, and this is his 20th event. So you know he is thrilled to be here, and he's got a good shot to take this title. Well, he's on a short stack right now. To the felt we go. Eric looks down at a pretty good ace jack of clubs. Well, as you said, he's got just over 900,000, which is the short stack. It goes all in. Not going to fool around with a moderation raise where somebody could come in there and outdraw him. He's just saying, if you got this hand beat, good luck to you. Cornell out. So hell. He's going to lay down ace eight. Nice lay down by him. You got it. And Matt Stout can't play, so a little power poker there by the short stack. Yeah, picks up the blinds and annies, which right now total 95,000. So adds 10% to a stack by picking up blinds and annies. All right, back to the felt. So hell first to act. This time he's got a pair of fours. Well, we know he likes these little pairs. He's not going anywhere. In fact, he's going to toot it up a little. Makes it 150,000 to go. Uh-huh, Matt going out. Back on Eric, and Eric's picked up a big hand. Ace king. Come on. Yep, he's going to ship it here. He's going all in with an ace king. Cornell going out. And back on Sohel. And Sohel usually don't like to call off your money with the little pairs, but he's up. Before he said he doesn't mind gambling when he has a lot of chips, and right now he has a lot of chips. Well, going to cost him over 800000 to make this call, though, and against a tight player, Vince. Wow. Mathematically not really correct to make this call. And I say that because the best you're going to be in is a race situation. And he's going to call it. Well, Vance, that's a big call this time. Over 825,000. And we have a classic Everybody race situation. Keep it low! <laughs> Lucy, I'm home! <laughs> well, I haven't said in here. Last time I sat here, I won. Notice the difference in personalities, Vince. One guy scared to death. The other guy directing traffic among the crowd, sitting in the stands visiting them. Such a bad call. He's a, he's a, I mean, he's a gambler. I know. <laughs> Same thing with you. Well, I mean, obviously, I want to play yeah. tighter than anyone. I want to know what the floor is, but whatever. Four! Oh. Well, the crowd hollering for a four. Four! I feel like I'm golfing. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like he's golfing. He's hollering four. <laughs> well, that means he hits the ball astray, too, Vince. Just like he plays poker sometimes. Let's see if it works for him here. Here's the flop. Well, 10-5 deuce. So far, so good for Sohel. As the cards lie, Eric is going to have to catch an Three ace or, or king or two running cards to make a straight to win this pot. Well, the nine of spades comes off, so we are down to the river. Eric Froelich, the 25-year-old, is going to have to catch an ace or a king on the river, or he's going to be our fourth-place finisher. Wake me up when it's done. There it is, eight of diamonds. So once again, Sohail winning a race to take a player out at this final table. Efro in a state of shock. Going to go home with 232,000. He's going to be our fourth place finisher. It's a terrible call, but it's it. Oh, no. There you go, Mr. Maniac. And the wild man has done it again. Knocked out another player. We're down to three. I mean, Soho can keep playing like this in one tournament. Like, you just have to catch cards, and he's catching cards. So, uh, obviously, um, pocket fours is either going to be an 80-20 dog or 50-50, so it's a call that I want him to make every time. It's really, 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 really not good against me. But, uh, you know, this time it didn't work out. It is what it is. I think Matt's playing really well. I think he's got position on uh, Soho, and Soho's going to dump off a lot of chips. He's playing crazy, and uh, Matt's been really on his game all week, so uh, I expect him to take it down. Well, there you go. The one 25-year-old picks a 24-year-old to take the title. We shall see. I don't know if I have the stack if you guys have position on me. I don't know. He used to call me the Houston Bandit. Why did he call me that? Action on the Houston Bandit. Cornell Sempan. 
very excited to knock Chris Ferguson out of this tournament. The Houston Bandit picks up a pair of fours. 44. Sweet. Uh, Houston Bandit, I don't steal. Uh, I try to do to others the way I want them to do to me, so I'm not a bandit. But if he calls me a bandit because I, I steal chips from people, that I rob them in pots, yeah, that's a different story. Then he has all the right because I do that. Well, I am so glad he figured out his nickname. The Houston <laughs> Bandit. Yes, you steal pots, sir, and you're quite good at it. Uh, Welcome back to the World Poker Finals, where three players remain. Well, there you see the fastest players to get to two titles, and you can enter Cornell Sempan's name there in fourth place among that elite list of players if he can win this title tonight. That's impressive. Two vets against a young 24-year-old internet pro. Let's go to the table. Lines are going up to 30 and 60,000, Mike. Action going to Sohail with the button and a king four. And he won't play. Now Matt Stout with just a 3-4. And he's going to raise, going to get aggressive, makes it 150,000 to go into the bandit who has just a 5-10. And he is going to call it. Well, Vance, this is just a position call, as we say. Can't have a much worse hand than a 10-5 offsuit, but he just wants to see what's going to happen if the guy's going to continue to fire at the pot or if he can steal the pot, or maybe get lucky and flop something like three fives like he's done. Oh. Unbelievable. Thing of beauty. Now, Matt's going to come out and bet 225. I raise. And Cornell with a three of a kind says raise. This is kind of surprising to me. Why chase this guy away? Well, they might catch a six and win the pot. That's one reason. Let him. Easy for you to say. <laughs> I'm all in. Sometimes you got to gamble wow. in this game of poker, and he's going all in. I'm surprised at this. Well, that's a $2 million all in bet here. I mean, Matt, what are you afraid of? He has an over pair. Let him out draw if he can. He can. But I don't understand this. I think it's a mistake by the bandit. Yeah. But he's going to take this pot right there. If he's over bet, obviously hoping his opponent had a big over pair, might give him some action. I'm like you. I would have slow played it a little bit more, but milk that Holstein. He just took it down right there. All right, to Matt this time with the button quickly folding his hand, and now the bandit with a nine deuce. He's just going to call this, and so hell behind him with a nine four, content to see a flop. Put some garbage, Jennifer. Garbage. Would normally both of us would start the hand with garbage, so garbage would be starts fireworks and stuff. That is true. And flop comes king, 7-4. Cornell's going to check, and so well with bottom pair. Checks right behind him. I'm going to run around with flash draw. Now deuce comes off. You got clubs? Now Cornell is going to bet here. This is a value bet, folks. He's betting 100000 thinking he no has the best playing. hand with the two deuces no. since so well checked on the flop. Uh, just in case a heart comes. <laughs> Well, just in case a heart comes, he says, One but heart. in truth, give it to him. He's calling with just two fours. Give it to him. So I can rob him. One heart, so I can rob him. Heart. Well, ten of spade comes off. Cornell checks. One pet. So L checks One the two pair. fours. He's going to win the pot. You so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it's just amazing. These guys are having so much fun, and that's with so much money and prestige on the line. Give them credit for being able to do that when the stakes are this high. We'll get in there with garbage. We'll come back with more action on the World Poker Tour. You're so lucky. Poker Tour shooting here at Foxwoods, and like the World Poker Tour, Foxwoods has evolved over time. It's now being North America's largest casino, and of course, we do have the World Poker Tour Poker Room, the only one of its kind. For fans of the show, it is a really fun place to visit, and it's a fun place to participate, too. We're really excited about the World Poker Tour being such an integral part of Foxwoods Resort Casino because they truly make us the wonder of it all. We are back at Foxwoods for the World Poker Finals. Three players remain here tonight. There you see the chip leader matched out. The only one of the three above average in chip count. And he's in great shape with over five million in chips right now. The felt we go. Action is going to be on our chip leader matched out. He looks down at the highway patrol hand, the 10-4. But he says over and out. <laughs> All right, Cornell Simpan in the small blind with just a 9-5. 
And the Houston Bandit is going to call. So he's going to check. No, I can't. Decide. What? No, no, no. Not this time, not this time. Not Let's this go. Time. <laughs> don't waste time. All he had to say well, was Cornell time. trying to get him a check so he could see a cheap flop there, but what did I have? At with two five. eight, so <laughs> else says, oh, no, my friend, I'm going to raise, and Cornell just mucked his hand immediately. Let's move on. Two flush draws, two. 353 started out in this event five days ago. We're down to these three. Cornell. Cornell is going to make it to clubs, He raised it to 150,000. And now Sohel with a queen ten of diamonds, contemplating this. Mm. He's singing, humming, having a big time here. What is he doing? That's he is going to make the right call. There. No, when you said 150, I'm thinking just going to call. Oh, okay, okay, and I okay. picked up six of these. Because you know that you know that that's terrorism. Like and now, Matt. Gonna raise and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Matt's not going to play a seven-four. He gets out of their way. Uh, check in the dark. He's, he's going to check in the dark. dark. Well, there we go. Another check in the dark. The fame play by Sohel. Oh. Well, here comes the flop. Come Queen Jack nine, great flop for Sohel, but he checked right, in the dark. He has top over. parent open in straight draw. Cornell quickly checking behind him. And a seven of clubs on the turn. Well, this does give Cornell a flush draw, but Sohel's now going to bet 150,000, and he's quickly called by Cornell. Down to the river. Oh, look at this. Another club, three of clubs. That makes the flush for Cornell. Unbelievable. He's backdoored to flush. Sohel's betting 200,000. Come on, pay me off. I'm thinking about it. Thank you. Well, Cornell. Make it 500. He's going to raise here. Forget about paying him off. He's going to make it a half a million. Oh, yeah. Now, my friend, it's your turn to pay him off. This is going to sting if he does pay him off. Uh, so hell, this is going to be a curiosity oh, call, gosh. Vince. He does call the extra 300,000, and he sees the flush. And there's a time that the check in the dark didn't pay off for the guy on the flop, Vince. Had he bet on the flop, he'd have won the pot right there. And the smile has dissipated quickly from so hell. There's a big swing there for Cornell. As three players remain, we're coming back with more exciting action from Foxwoods in just a moment. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Yesterday we were down to 10 players. Who knocked out number 10? It was me. <laughs> Who knocked out number 9? Let me think. Oh, it was me. Who knocked out number eight? Steve. Steve. I'm pretty sure it was me. Who knocked out number seven? Hell, that was me too. <laughs> Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Three players remain going after this big title, and that is so hell. Jim Seddon, what a character. But right now, he's down. He's in the short stack, Mike. And the math doesn't quite add up. He knocked out the four players to get to this final table. He's knocked out two of them at this final table already. Yet here he is in third place with three players left. All right. Quick fold by Matt Stout. And now Cornell with just a 6-4. Going to call. And behind him, so hell with a three-deuce. Not going to raise. So we're going to see the flop. Well, it's 10-7-3. Cornell checks a gut shot straight draw. And so hell's going to bet bottom pair, 150,000. Cornell's going to call him with the gut shot straight draw, looking for the miracle five. Turn card coming, and it's a three. Beautiful card for so hell. Yep. Makes three of a kind. Cornell quickly check it again. Uh, so hell has three trays, and it looks like he is going to bet them. <laughs> 